Yo, what is up guys? This is Troy D from the Troy D 24 7 Mod channel, your source for on point and no hype reviews. Welcome back yet again, everybody. It's another day. I am on the day shift, folks. <laughs> yeah, that's right, guys. I am uh, in orientation for my new job, and so therefore I'll be on day shift maybe for the next couple of weeks. And so with that being said, you know, I'll be making a lot of videos with the sunlight right here in my background. And of course, this Monday is a holiday here in the United States. It's going to be Juneteenth. And so expect a couple more videos after this one. I cannot wait to impart to you some of the feedback I've been getting trying and testing these fragrances. Now, before I continue, please do not forget to like and subscribe, guys. Yet again, guys, like I said, your likes, your subscription keeps this channel going, guys. All right. Keeps me motivated. And of course, the comments, the feedback, all the stuff that you guys have been saying on the comments, it really fuels me to become better at this and to give you guys uh, a lot more feedback on these fragrances. Now, today we are going to talk about a fragrance house that's based here in America, made in USA, that in my opinion is kicking ass all around the space. This fragrance house is none other than Argos, baby. Argos, yes. This is from Argos. They sent me this, but I wanna make it clear that I got this because I requested it okay so it's not that you know they sent this to me and they were like you know and this is where these fragcom haters you know this is where they talk about this you know where you know this gets sent to certain people um, influencers if you will to talk about the fragrance positively in this case guys Argos never hit me up and nobody hits me up because I really talk about these things no hype but then props to them when I got interested about the fragrance, when I saw this fragrance, I said, wow, I got to know. And I asked them and me and Argos have a really nice relationship. Really, really quickly, guys, within days, I was able to get my kit right here, which has all their fragrances, their entire library. And so I cannot wait to try and test all of the rest. But let me tell you, the reason why I wanted this so bad was because of this fragrance. This is none other than Argos. Adonis Awakens guys. Argos Adonis Awakens. This fragrance really intrigued me to the bone that I had to reach out to Argos and say, hey, can you please send me a vial of this? Now Adonis Awakens, what do we know about Adonis, right? Who is Adonis? Now for a lot of people that know their uh, vocabulary guys, Adonis is a Greek god that is most associated with like a perfect physique. A real perfect body or physique or he's just a macho guy uh, with like everything perfect down to the abs right so when some people see somebody like that with like almost like a perfect physique a lot of them say hey that guy is like an Adonis or he's Adonis like now when I first saw this right here my thought was that this could be a fragrance that could be worn by an Adonis somebody that has a, a beautiful perfect chiseled physique that's not me but there are other guys out there that are like that something for an adonis that's what i was thinking when i hit them up i thought that this was maybe uh, an adonis type fragrance now, everything got swerved when i looked into the literature and when i looked at the photo right here and uh, this is a painting by john waterhouse right here uh, this is the painting right here and it turns out that adonis awakens is pretty much the greek version of you know a uh, uh, snow white scenario right here it's snow white in reverse so basically it's adonis who's dead or dying and aphrodite the goddess of beauty basically kisses him and wakes him up wakes him up to life so that really added to the curiosity i had on this fragrance guys i wasn't sure if i was going to get a femme fragrance by the time you know the mail comes in from argos or was it gonna be like an Adonis macho type fragrance for guys with big physiques and you know macho big egos I don't know so I got it and I tested it and I wore it and here is the feedback but before that let's spray this thing right now mmm okay guys let's talk about adonis awakens all right first and foremost let's talk about the top notes right here you've got bergamot you've got grapefruit and you've got pink pepper right here guys now let me talk about the opening guys i think personally that this fragrance will be bought 
and you guys will buy it specifically because of the opening guys the opening of argos adonis awakens is truly impactful it's truly impactful it's got a strong burst of zest and it includes like i said bergamot grapefruit and pink pepper the smell that i get here is like a juicy pomelo which is like you know it's actually like a pink grapefruit right it's a pink grapefruit that uh is you know very much connected to grapefruit and who knows if it's actually pomelo that they used here because it's very very pomelo like it's a juicy like pomelo style uh citrus scent and it's also flanked by bergamot which is one of my favorite notes and as you guys know bergamot is that citrus that denotes elegance that denotes a, a, a regal vibe but then the grapefruit or uh, should i say pink grapefruit the pink grapefruit though i would say is a strong burst of zest so for those that are looking for a strong impactful burst of zest type of opening you will find it here in adonis awakens okay and i know you guys are reading the notes before you look into the fragrance and I know you guys are looking into that double rose and you're kind of thinking like, how does that happen? Well, yeah, I'll talk about that later, but let me tell you this, that the opening itself is worth the perfume. It's definitely worth the perfume, especially now, summer, hot. I think that this is just great. Now on top of that initial sillage, that burst of grapefruit guys that you guys are going to enjoy, I will say this, that this is also a lingering aromatic scent because of the pink pepper, because of the bergamot as well. You are going to get a beautiful scent trail in my opinion. I think that this is uh, not only good for the user, I think you're going to enjoy it because it's a burst of grapefruit and bergamot, but also because of the addition of pink pepper, there is that aromatic trace right here that makes this fragrance a social perfume, something that I would wear, like I said, meeting people around because it is going to have a scent trail. It is also a lingering scent which means that even with that burst, it is not overdone. It is something that can be smelled in the air in little whiffs right there by people around you. And so for those that care about, you know, not overdoing it, I think that you're pretty safe with this opening right here. Now let's go into the bridge note, guys. The bridge note right here is going to be raspberry, guys. Raspberry is the bridge note into the mid and you will experience this within like 15 minutes of wearing this fragrance i know that some of y'all are thinking man i wish this grapefruit bergamot pink pepper intro will last forever unfortunately it will move on at some point within 15 to maybe 20 minutes it will move on into the mid and the bridge note will be raspberry and as you guys know raspberry fruity berry note that comes in right here it also uh would serve as the gradient heading into the dry down guys but it is balanced by a note that also gives you some freshness and that's none other than jasmine sambak guys okay so jasmine right here provides the whiff of freshness that continues the trend from the opening right here so in the opening it's fresh it's bright it's grapefruit the raspberry kind of mutes it a little bit but then the jasmine comes in and balances it out guys okay so you are going to get whiffs of fresh jasmine florals with the fruity note of raspberry mostly here in the part of the mid that's right after that beautiful impactful opening now one of the big questions right here is where is the rose right where is the rose because if you look at the note breakdown if you look at the literature, you are going to see a double dose of rose. And usually when I see like double dose type fragrances with two types of rose, two types of jasmine, I mean, that sort of puts me off in a way because you know what happens there, guys? I mean, by my experience is that usually it's just a drubbing of that note. It's just like double rose and it's just rose rose or double jasmine because it's really a lot of jasmine they're just making it prolonged from mid to the end but i will say this what argos did right here with the double dose of rose 
is freaking genius. It's freaking different. Right here in Argos, Adonis Awakens is totally different and it's used differently. So you're not really getting a drubbing of Rose. So let's talk about the first one, Bulgarian Rose. Now, Bulgarian Rose is a dark shade of Rose in my opinion. I think that when Bulgarian Rose comes in, this goes into fade to black territory. And this is after reviewing hundreds and hundreds of perfumes. Bulgarian Rose is used for that. And that's exactly what happens right here. Bulgarian Rose, as it comes in, kind of signals that fade to black scenario from the Jasmine and Raspberry that in itself, it's not really as bright as the opening, but again, Jasmine gives you the whiffs that makes you feel that there's a continuation. But then when Bulgarian Rose really steps in, uh, when it comes in as you are smelling it, it is really going to be like a fade to black. It's headed to the dry down. And that really confirms what I thought about this fragrance, that this fragrance uh, initially I thought was like a nice spring summer, like I can walk outside and wear it and it's, it, it's so beautiful. But then again, when we factor in just the mid, I haven't even talked about the dry down. This fragrance really reminds me of a lot of my Serzhovs that I wear a lot, okay? Roja and Serzhov. And these fragrances, I mean, the Serjovs and the Rojas are really more for elegant, indoor, hanging around important people type uh, scenarios. And that's where I really use most of my perfumes. I really have enough freshies that if I just want to smell fresh, I can just wear them. But this one right here is so versatile that I think it can be used for elegant, semi-formal, formal scenarios. And the Bulgarian Rose definitely confirms that. And the surprising thing at this point is that this fragrance is still very much unisex. Okay, so that's what really shocked me. And there's a difference when you spray the vial on just one part of your skin and you really come in close like this because you are going to get, of course, a stronger concentration of these notes, uh, such as the raspberry. It's a strong concentration of that compared to the rose. And if you just sniff it from here, maybe you're going to come up with a conclusion that it is a femme fragrance because you're going to smell a lot of that raspberry. But when you do a full wear, like what I did just right now, when I did a full wear, like it really balanced out. Like in my opinion, it was really unisex because the raspberry wasn't really as strong as when I was really putting my nose in right here to where it would shift into something femme. So it's truly, truly unisex. That's what I like about this fragrance. And of course the Bulgarian Rose, as it comes in, there's really uh, nothing else that comes with it because this is when the Jasmine starts getting back out there and the fruitiness of the raspberry backs off as well, pretty much at the time that the Bulgarian Rose comes in. And there are two notes right here, guys, that in my opinion, pull this fragrance into unisex territory and also keeps this fragrance appealing. And that's none other than chestnut and vanilla, guys. Okay, so chestnut and vanilla, as you guys know, it gives you guys that nice nuttiness as well as a sweetness, a natural sweetness of vanilla that is going to be your bridge note all the way to the dry down as the Bulgarian Rose sort of pulls back. It's not going to be Bulgarian Rose into Rose Absolute. It's going to be Bulgarian Rose, a dark shade of Rose, again, signaling that fade to black, that gradient scenario, and then it pulls back and then in comes a nice stage of vanilla and chestnut. Okay, so I just want to make sure you guys know, for those that really look into notes and that care about transitions, it's not going to be rose to rose, okay, which is really lazy. And thank God Argos didn't get lazy with that. Now heading to the dry down, guys, the first note you are going to get is going to be your Mysore sandalwood, guys. Okay, so it is a nice transition from that vanilla and chestnut, like I said, vanilla and chestnut transitions into a nice Mysore sandalwood. You can really, really smell it. And then of course, the next rose pops in within maybe minutes of that, enjoying the Mysore sandalwood. The Mysore sandalwood kind of takes a backseat and then in comes the combination of your rose absolute as well as cashmere wood. What happens here is that you are going to get a cashmere-like uh, scent, kind of warming, furry. Uh, like I said, it's like wearing a cashmere sweater, guys, okay? And it's kind of like the same as maybe a suede accord as well and then it is mixed with the rose. So the rose really doesn't come on its own. It is uh, paired with a nice cashmere effect. 
and then of course my sore sandalwood here in the background guys okay so it's a nice gradient fade to black uh type of uh dry down right here and i would say like i said my total judgment of this is that this fragrance is truly truly a versatile classy kind of like serge off like uh, type of fragrance that in my opinion I can use in many many scenarios now who is this for guys this is a fragrance for those that are sick and tired of the same old thing such as me <laughs> okay I might not really admit it all the time but then I try so many fragrances that a lot of them are like oh god it's the same thing and you know I'm sick and tired of repeating it so I just won't do a video anymore but in this case guys this fragrance after testing it prompted me to do a video because this fragrance is for someone that is looking for something really different that also encompasses uh, different uh, aspects that they like about other fragrances such as a burst of pink grapefruit, a burst of bergamot, and then of course the new stuff in my opinion being this mid right here of raspberry, rose, jasmine, vanilla chestnut and so that is really new. So for those that are looking for something new but then want to remember or keep the appeal that you've had with other fragrances for me like Serge Off, I think that Adonis Awakens is perfect. I think that it's a great fragrance for that. I think if you like it and they are selling samples, you guys, I think it's a full bottle worthy type of fragrance right here. And I also like that the notes transition at the right time in my opinion. They're not like overdone because I've seen fragrances where you have a really prolonged stage of one thing, but here in Argos Adonis Awakens, the notes transition pretty much at a great uh, timing. I think that you can equally enjoy all these phases without any of them overlapping with each other. And I forgot to mention this, the beautiful bottle is also worth keeping right here. They used red glass this time and a colored or painted uh, plate, which a lot of fragrance houses don't do. I think that this is one of the most beautiful bottles I have ever seen with the red glass as well as the colored plate. So that's worth it in terms of presentation purposes, but in my opinion, the scent itself very very beautiful and unique and nice and i think it is worth owning right here and longevity wise this fragrance lasts 11 plus hours guys okay so that is more than enough significant scent and this fragrance also has that beautiful burst of grapefruit like i said in the beginning with a nice lingering bergamot with the pink pepper creating that nice aroma and everything after that is fruity rosy and sweet and nice again super super balanced i cannot recommend this enough for you guys and gals to test i would love for y'all to test this and again argos sells samples okay so thank you argos yet again for the trio actually not it's not a trio it's the entire library thank you for sending me this i can't wait to try the next stuff the other two because this one is a trio of new perfumes but I gotta say, Adonis Awakens has my stamp of approval. My gut thought so before I even reached out to them. My gut said, I think this is gonna be good. I reached out to them, they sent it to me, and guess what? It is damn good, <laughs> okay? So again, this is my review of Argos Adonis Awakens. If you guys have tried this, guys and gals, please comment below. Let me know about your feedback right here on Adonis Awakens. And again, do not forget to like and subscribe. This is big for the channel. It helps me in every single way. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And until then, guys, I'll make another video probably tomorrow. This is Troy D. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.